Blackout by D Chloe de la Field and Elizabeth Ball. Read by Miss Tuxhorn. Blackout. So this book is slightly different. This is a collection of news articles from around the world. So after the introduction, which tells us about energy and blackouts, we have six articles. One, two, three, four, five, six about blackouts that have happened. Introduction. Electrical energy is all around us. It is working for us all the time. However, we usually don't think about it until it stops working. Blackouts remind us how much we need this energy. The system that brings us electrical energy is huge. This system includes many different power plants. Power plants convert energy from different sources into electrical energy. The system also includes millions of miles of wires. These wires make up the electrical grid. So here is the electrical grid, all of the wires that go to every house and business. We have homes and businesses and a coal burning plant and a hydroelectric plant. A system like this one brings electrical energy to your home. The grid brings energy to homes and businesses. When the grid and other parts of the system work, we get energy. When the grid or another part of the system fails, we can be left in the dark. This book has articles about failures in the electrical system. Each article is like one you might see in a newspaper or online. See what you can learn from these articles about different ways that parts can fail, causing the whole electrical system to fail. This city is having a blackout because of a problem with the electrical grid. Bay Area News Online Runaway truck causes huge blackout, August 27, 2003. A runaway truck knocked down utility poles. The lights went out in a small California city yesterday. The blackout began when a runaway truck crashed into several utility poles. The truck then slammed into a house which burst into flames. Eight people were hurt. The truck was going down a steep hill when its brakes failed. When it knocked down the utility poles, it pulled down several power lines. Those power lines deliver electrical energy to a large area. 20,000 homes lost power after the crash. Businesses closed for the day. Emergency workers had to keep people away from the dangerous electrical wires. The utility poles were replaced today. This allowed people to turn on their lights and begin using their electrical devices again. This is one of the largest blackouts ever caused by a runaway truck. Workers fixed the power lines to get the lights back on. Texas Times, April 18th, 2006. Heat wave leads to rolling blackouts. Yesterday's surprise heat wave had a surprising result. Blackouts. Thousands of homes and businesses turned on their air conditioners. There was not enough electrical energy to power all of those air conditioners at the same time. The demand for electrical energy was more than the system could handle. Power companies had to cut people's power. They cut the power in different areas for a few hours at a time. This kept the entire system from failing. These rolling blackouts meant everybody, everyone could have power for some of the time. That was better than having no power at all. The rolling blackouts meant that some buildings could not run their air conditioning during the hottest part of the day. Many people left school and work early to avoid the heat. This city is having rolling blackouts. Even with the blackout, people used more electrical energy than they would on a normal spring day. Air conditioners make life more comfortable, but they use a lot of energy. When everyone uses them at the same time, it puts a strain on the electrical system. Too many electrical devices being used at the same time can make the system fail. 
there is not enough electrical energy to power them all. Temperatures should be lower tomorrow. There probably won't be more rolling blackouts. Still, people should use less electrical energy, especially during the hottest part of the day. Daily news online. Blackouts across India as fuel supplies run out. September 4th, 2014. Blackouts are affecting millions of people in India. Coal shortages have shut down several big power plants. Coal is one of the main sources of power in India. The country gets more than two-thirds of its electricity from burning coal. Rainstorms are making it difficult to mine and ship the coal. That means there is not enough reaching the power plants. When the plants run out of coal, they can no longer generate electrical energy. This means homes, stores, and factories have no power. This is one of India's large coal mines. Several towns are having blackouts for up to 10 hours a day. Some homes and businesses are paying extra for other kinds of fuel. They use this fuel to power small electric generators. That way, they can keep using electrical energy during blackouts. Power companies are looking for sources of coal outside the country. This coal will be much more expensive and hard to get. Many people use small generators like this one during blackouts. World News, August 18th, 2009. Russian power station accident cuts off supply to grid. A terrible accident happened at this hydroelectric power plant. Yesterday morning in Russia, one turbine of a large hydroelectric power plant broke apart violently. The power plant was flooded with water. The ceiling fell down. Nine turbines were damaged. The turbine had problems for many years. It had cracks even when it was first built. It was fixed several times, but not well enough. After the accident, the entire plant shut down. It cut off supply to the local electrical grid. This led to power failure in a large area. Many homes and businesses had to go without electricity. Factories and other big electricity users had to use backup generators. Engineers think that it will take four years to fix the plant. Meanwhile, local homes and businesses must get their power from another energy source. This may be difficult and expensive. Workers cleaned up after the accident. Brazil Today, English Edition. July 14, 2014. Drought can cause blackouts, but not this time. Brazilians were excited to host the World Cup this year. However, many were worried that there would be a blackout during the soccer tournament. Brazil has had a terrible water shortage for months. The country generates 70% of its electrical energy from water at hydroelectric power plants. Combined with the extra power used by millions of people watching soccer on TV, that could mean blackouts. There were no major problems at Brazil's electrical system this time. However, there were good reasons to be worried. Other countries that rely on hydroelectric energy have ha had blackouts during water shortages. For instance, a drought in the Philippines left millions of people without electricity. There was not enough water to run their hydroelectric power plants. They did not have other sources of energy. People predicted that the same thing would happen in Brazil. People in Brazil took steps to solve this problem. It seems to have worked. They brought in water from far away to use in the hydroelectric plants. They also used natural gas to run fuel burning power plants. All of these steps cost the country extra money, but kept the TVs on during the World Cup. Brazil scored a goal by keeping the electrical energy on. However, droughts are becoming more common. Systems that use hydroelectric electricity may have more shortages in the future. This hydroelectric dam in Brazil is one of the biggest in the world. The soccer stadium kept its lights on in spite of blackout fears. Northeastern News, 
October 30th, 2012. Millions without power after Hurricane Sandy. Hurricane Sandy caused big floods. Seven million people lost power during Hurricane Sandy. The storm blew through the east coast of the United States today. Strong winds and flooding disconnected many parts of the electrical system. They caused damage to the grid that may take months to fix. Those without power have no heat, no refrigeration, and no phone service. Many are cold and hungry. Some people have traveled far just to charge their cell phones. Some people without power don't have water either. Electricity is needed to pump water to their homes. Some homes, businesses, and hospitals have generators for emergency energy during black, the blackout. Generators don't provide as much power as the larger electrical system can. However, in this emergency, some people can offer power to their neighbors. Many people did not have power. Glossary. Blackout. A time when electricity is off due to power failure. Convert. To change from one form to another. Drought. A long period of dry weather. Electrical device. A machine that converts electrical energy to another form of energy. Electrical energy. The form of energy that is transferred through the wires. Electrical grid. Wires that transfer electrical energy from many sources to many other places. Here's the electrical grid. Energy. The ability to make things move or change. Engineer. A person who uses science knowledge to design something in order to solve a problem. Failure, when something stops working. Generate, to make something exist. Generator, a machine that can convert other forms of energy to electrical energy when it spins. Hydroelectric, producing electricity using the movement of water. Shortage, a problem when there is not enough of something. Source, the place where something comes from. System, a group of parts that work together. Turbine, an engine driven by a moving fluid, such as water, steam, or air. Utility pole, a pole used by power companies to hold up power lines. So these wooden things are utility poles. <laughs>